Okay, I want to demonstrate the new attachment files that I've implemented for D3Mask. So you will not need to update your software. Okay, everything's the same from the software side. But um, you'll need to download this folder of new mask attachments. And after you do that, go to your user preferences and then navigate in this setting to wherever you save that mask attachments folder. Okay, that will let it know that we've got it, you know, you've got a different set of attachments, and then all those will populate into this list. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to go over is the uh, the MUSC files from Wally Renee and his team, and Christian Breens, and uh, everybody in his post. So you'll still go to their page to download the actual components. All right. Um, so for example, here is the Roomba box, right? And we just move this whole assembly. And if uh, I've got it aligned, so you move it along the port or along the axis of the of the filter box, but it might be easier to use the global axes because those are going to be more aligned with the facial plane. Okay, and you can rotate it. And then try to keep the bottom edge of this plate about level with the bottom edge of your nose mouth outline. Okay, that will keep you from having like a, a real sharp crease right here. You can also select the plate and rotate it separately. Okay, just make sure that you are you select the whole thing to make any bodily movements. All right, so now that that's in place, and you can rotate it if you need to, um, you can create the shell. All right, and then when you, I'm going to skip adding all the tabs and the text and everything. But when you merge your attachments, the only part that is really being added in is the, the port and then the hole that gets cut out of it. Okay, so now that's going to bring me on to my next point is that some of the, depending on your printer, this little port may be too tight or too loose. All right, so I'm going to open our demo design again. If you look here in this list, um, I've got 250, 249, and 248 as the inner diameters of that hole. Now, and also notice that I only have the 249 for the Roomba. Doesn't matter. The, the safe filter, okay, everything that attaches to the mask itself is the same, okay? so. The only thing that's actually integrating with the mask is this outer port here, and then the little notch that's cut out of it, and then the hole that's cut through it. So you can use the the um, you can use any of the MUSC attachment files interchangeably. Okay, all that matters is you're selecting the inner diameter that you want. All right. Um, on the flip side. If those diameters that are available don't work for you, so for example, I will um, let's do the 22 millimeter port medium. All right, if you used uh, this design and you needed, actually, let's undo that. This definitely needs to be small. Alright, if you needed to change the inner diameter of this one, drop down here to the tube subtract, okay? And this object is hidden and um, not selectable, it doesn't matter. You can highlight it right here. And then up here there's this little plus sign. 
All right, and then here are your your x and y dimensions of that port. So if you need an extra 30 microns, you can just change this to 22.3, 22.3. That'll make it a little bit bigger, or 22.5. And if we unhide this, um, just to demonstrate, you know, you can adjust that size. Just make sure that whatever you put in the x, you also put in the y. Okay, so that it's the same. Also, if this little, if the um, outer tube is not thick enough, you can you can bump that up too if you need to. If you're finding that wall to be too flimsy. Okay, so I didn't intend for people to have to get that deep um, into the settings, but if if you're having trouble with the printing, um, you, know, you got to do what you got to do. So for the MUS, just to review for the MUSCs, I have 248, 249, and 250 as inner diameter. And for the the boot with the port, um, you can adjust that manually again by changing the don't change the scale, change the dimensions. Okay, the scale will change automatically. And then when you create your shell. and then merge your attachments. That port will be um, the appropriate size. Okay, um, that about sums it up. I will post a couple pictures of all the different attachments that I've added. Uh, thank you for watching.